Hi, my name is Robert Weeb. I'm the author of Mac Application Development by Example. In this video, we're going to extend the behavior of the NS Button class to implement two new methods, set title color and title color. As their names imply, these methods will allow us to set the title color of an NS button or get the title color of an NS button. Let's get started. We're going to implement a new Cocoa application. This application will include the implementation for the category as well as a quick demonstration of the category in action. The first thing we need to do is create the new file for the category. It's going to be an Objective-C category and we're going to call it BTS button. BTS stands for Burning Thumb Software. First, we need to define the interface for the category. The interface contains two methods. Title color, which returns the title color of the NS button, and set title color, which sets the title color of the NS button. Now we need to implement the methods. Title color simply gets the attributed string of the button title and returns the color of the first character in that string. It also has a check to see whether or not that string has any characters in it, and if it doesn't have any characters, it just returns the default control text color. Set title color accepts a color and uses it to set the color of all of the characters in the attributed string that is used for the title. It also contains this little bit of magic which allows the method to work for both ARC and non-ARC projects. So let's take a look at these methods in action. First we're going to define our user interface. So we have two buttons, a red button, a green button, and an image well. We're going to set the color on the red button, set the color on the green button, and when the buttons are clicked, we're going to take the color from the button and set the color of the image well. So let's define our application interface. We have our properties for the red button, the green button, the color well, and a button action method which is going to be invoked when one of the buttons is pressed. So now we just need to implement the application. It's very straightforward. When the application launches, we're going to set the red button's color to red. We're going to set the green button's color to green. And when either of the buttons is pressed, they're going to invoke this method, which will set the color of the color well to the color of the button. So let's build our project to make sure we don't have any errors. And now let's connect the user interface. We 
will connect the window. The red button. The green button. And the color well. And when one of the buttons is pressed, we'll invoke the button action. Okay, so we've implemented our category on NS button and we've implemented a small test application. Let's run it. As you can see, the red button is red, the green button is green, so we can set the title color. Now if we click the red button, the color well turns red. If we click the green button, the color well turns green, so we can get the title color. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll make this project available for download if you want to take a look at it. You'll be able to find it on www.burningthumb.com or on our Facebook page.